In the spring of 2014, the Richard family of Dorchester teamed up with Project Bind and the Savin Hill Little League to create a challenger baseball division so that all kids in the city of Boston would have the opportunity to play baseball. And despite the Challenger League's phenomenal success, the Richard family hasn't rested on their laurels. They, along with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Dorchester, have expanded the Challenger sports program beyond the Little League Baseball Diamond. At first glance, this might look like a local summer camp, with kids moving to the beat of a bucket drum, playing colorful group activities, and competing in a game of musical chairs. So you see that these buckets at the Boys and Girls Club of Dorchester are used for more than just instruments and recreational furniture. Good shot. These buckets are an integral part of the Martin Richard Challenger Basketball League, a program that provides physically and mentally challenged youth with a chance to enjoy the benefits of playing the game of basketball. Thanks to the success and popularity of the Martin Richard Baseball League, which was created in the spring of 2014, players and parents saw room for more sports on the challenger level. Initially, uh, a great member of the community, Brenda McDonough, uh, worked with us at the Boys and Girls Club to found Project Bind, which serves children of all abilities. We think that's really important, a great need in the community. Uh, and then it led to uh, the Challenger Baseball program down at Savin Hill Park. Uh, and it took off from there. We realized that the families and the children got so much out of it uh, that we needed to think about doing something for every season. Parents asked for more. They wanted to have another sport. They enjoyed it so much that they really wanted to do something else. So we started the soccer program and partnered with the Richard family to create the Martin Richard Challenger Sports Program. And they wanted to have four sports. So that's how basketball was created. Each Sunday during the winter months, Challenger players pile into the Boys and Girls Club of Dorchester to learn the ins and outs of the game of basketball, much like they've done on the baseball diamond. As we did dribbling, we did a country run around, we, we play an intense game, we like get pennies and we like put them on different teams. We do one on one like dribbling and passing and shooting and we teach them just like the basics of basketball and let them have a lot of fun. But with a different sport comes different challenges. So along with the basic basketball skills and scrimmages, the Martin Richard Basketball League also incorporates other recreational activities. We really try to create um, activities for the kids for them to have fun and to constantly keep them moving because we're also inside. It looks different than baseball when you're outside and there's more room to move for the kids. Ross Lilly is the executive director of Adaptive Sport America. So Ross will come in with his team and he thinks of fun ways to keep the kids moving and to make sure that they're being included and to make sure that every kid is able to access the sport. He made the um, basket barrels, basketball barrels if you want to call them for us, because some of our kids weren't able to reach the nets because of mobility issues. He uses the drums and musical chairs as a way to inspire the kids and have fun. You know, music is something that um, sort of all kids kind of um, are drawn to, and it's a way to get their attention to keep them moving. So putting fun activities in with the sport really helps the kids engage more with the sport. Despite the addition of these unconventional drills, the principal concept of the buddies in the Challenger League remains the same, with friendships being formed both on and off the court. Isn't that something, though, that, the buddies? Uh, that's a whole other aspect of the program, which um, is pretty amazing. So we have volunteers from the community, and they pair up as buddies uh, with the participants in the program. First of all, uh, the participants are getting a new friend, uh, which is a great thing. The buddies uh, are definitely learning how to work with children who have varying needs. We want them to get to know each other. We want them to somehow form some kind of a friendship. So if they're at the supermarket and they see their buddy, they're giving each other a high five now. You know, we're all in the community together to show that, well, now I see this, this kid, he's a player, I've been supporting him on Sundays, playing basketball, playing soccer, playing baseball. Now I see them in the community and now I appreciate all the strengths that he has. The family who has a child with a disability, to be able to see someone in the neighborhood to now have um, that person say hi to their child, it, it's, it really means a lot to the family.
in basketball, I'm just horrendous. I just dribble the ball around. But there's not a lot that you need to know about the sports to be able to coach it. I mean, you know, once you get the drills down and things like that, um, it's you know, a lot of opportunity to get to know kids, get to know the buddies and, and meet people that are, you know, interested in something similar. My buddy Lidiani, she likes to talk about her hair. She likes to talk about movies like Frozen. Um, she, she talks about anything. It's a really humbling experience to get to see them, like how much fun they have and how proud they are of themselves because, you know, it gives them an experience they otherwise might not have gotten to have. We sometimes we socialize about stuff like colleges or whatever, or we like talk about things related to basketball. But perhaps the greatest joy during this experience comes from the Challenger players' parents, who pack the stands at the Boys and Girls Club each week to watch their kids play a sport that once seemed unreachable. The program's for the kids. That's why we designed this program. That's why it exists. But what the parents get out of it, it's absolutely amazing. A lot of them never thought they'd see their child in, participate in a sporting event. And all of a sudden, they're playing sports year round. And, uh, and it means so much to them. It really does. I hear very often firsthand from the parents. They're so thrilled and grateful um, that their kids have the opportunity. As a parent, it really makes you laugh when you see them doing it, just because it's fun. It's fun stuff, very basic things to teach them some very basic skills, how to get along and to be good friends. While the Martin Richard Challenger League has spread across multiple sports, league administrators believe the growth of this essential sports program has just begun. For the MR8 Foundation to continue its mission of providing all of our youth with the chance to play sports, supporters will look to extend the league's reach well beyond the neighborhood boundaries of Dorchester. Well, the Richard family um, really wants to be able to grow the Martin Richard sports program into other um, neighborhoods, into other states, you know, really to have it go across the United States. So it's something that we're working with the family right now to build um, a toolbox to build some kind of a kit where if there's someone from another neighborhood who wanted to do um, any of either one of these sports or all of these sports, we're working on um, building this toolkit right now to be able to give this to another neighborhood um, so other folks can do what we're doing as well. Martin Richard or MR8 sports program also features soccer and swimming challenger leagues in their respective seasons. That is just a phenomenal program down there in Dorchester. And it will be sh a shock to no one if the MR8 sports program continues to grow across the state and the New England region. That's going to do it for sports this week, folks. Be sure to come right back here next time for more on Boston neighborhood sports.